What's up, fancy hairdressers? Jacob Kahn, Gold Gold Brand Ambassador here, and we're gonna show you how to do a beachy curl finish using our Varus Smoothing Iron and our product Twist Around from Curls and Waves. This is a spray that's gonna give us a hold that will still be flexible, and it will give us heat protection to help keep this wavy finish on a straighter texture. We're gonna start off sectioning her hair and adding this throughout. This is gonna give us that little bit of hold as we work the iron through. Again, it's gonna give us heat protection. We're working with our various smoothing iron and we're at about 350 degrees. Um, a lot of people will jump their irons up to 400 degrees. I hear a lot of stuff about, oh, I like to work fast, so I put it at 400 or 450 so I can work quickly. But in reality, I can work just as fast without putting that unnecessary heat on my client's hair. I like to be very minimalist. If you've seen things that I do before, you know that I don't like to work with a lot of tools, a lot of different clips. So we're gonna work with one comb, one iron, and two clips for this. Look down a little. We're starting off in the back, and we're just gonna split this horizontally down the center, and then horizontally again at the nape, and we'll clip our sections here out of the way. Try to keep your tools in your hands if you can. Don't put your iron down, put your clips down. It's just gonna give you better muscle memory, better dexterity, and it has a little finesse. It looks nice for a client to not have to pick things up and put them down again. Again, we're trying to keep our sections here about the same size as the tool that we're using. And I describe this to clients, it's like, it's like curling a ribbon with a pair of scissors. We're just gonna point our iron down we're gonna close and turn at the same time, and then we're gonna pull through. From there, we're going to come back and smooth our ends out just a little bit to give this straighter, flatter feel, which is gonna give us that beachy, modern finish. We're gonna change direction. So this first wave went in. This next wave is going to go the opposite direction. That's just gonna keep us from getting these curls that all join together we'll get that softer, beachier movement. And again, we'll come back and iron those ends a bit straighter. Our next section here, again, we're gonna change direction. Pointing the iron down the entire time is important. If we pull out, things are gonna get big. We're looking for sleek, beachy waves and not too pageanty, glamorous waves. All right, we're just gonna continue through the entire back just like that, horizontal sections across, varying direction with straighter ends. We're done with the back, we're gonna move on to the side. Don't rake your hands through this, let this cool down and set, otherwise your curl's not gonna last as long as it could. The side, we're gonna do the same thing. Horizontal sections here, but the only thing I wanna think about is that I want these last few sections around the eyes to come away from the face to open things up in that area. This first section, we might go towards the face, and no matter what my pattern, I wanna finish away from the face here around the eyes. Now that we've let our waves cool down a bit, we're actually gonna break them up and add some definition with Crystal Turn from Creative Texture as well. This is gonna be kind of a high shine gel wax mix. You can do this on damp hair or on dry hair, and it can be a great thing to break up curls, help that curl bundle together and just add a little definition. And that's my beachy wave finish using our various smoothing iron. Um, again, all we did was point our iron down using small sections and creating a wave that varies direction. It goes one way, then goes the other way, leaving those ends a little bit straighter. We prepped her hair with twist around for a little bit of hold and heat protection. And then we added polish with our crystal turn to help bring these curls together, add shine and add definition. Hope you guys enjoyed my step-by-step. -step. Um, 
Yeah, thanks for watching.